Apple just released an AI research paper that has completely taken the world by storm, and in this video, I, as an AI expert, am going to explain it to you. So the paper is titled The Illusion of Thinking, Understanding the Strengths and Limitations of Reasoning Models. Reasoning models are basically models that think before they output, but really the thinking is just adding extra tokens before they output the final token. So they have this intermediary thinking step of just outputting tokens, and then they give you their final token. Oh, and if you don't know me, I'm Harper. I'm an AI expert. I have two degrees in computer science in AI from Stanford. I've been doing AI for about 10 years, developing it. I was at Meta and a startup that was acquired by NVIDIA, etc. and I teach AI now. So yeah, hi. For this paper, the models were exploring controllable puzzle environments like the Tower of Hanoi or River Crossing. This allowed the researchers to control the problem complexity and also analyze not just the final answers, but the model's thinking steps, so how they actually thought about going through the problem. The paper found three main findings. First was that large reasoning models demonstrate complete accuracy collapse past a certain complexity threshold. So as the problems reached a certain threshold of complexity, the models just could not do it they completely failed complete collapse in accuracy. They were not able to develop generalizable problem-solving capabilities for planning tasks. This means the models are not as smart as the researchers thought they might be. Second, they identified three performance regimes. The first was that regular LLM, so large language models that don't have this intermediary thinking step, actually outperformed large reasoning models on very simple tasks. And that's because these large language models could just output the answer right away if it didn't involve a lot of thinking, but the large reasoning models would actually overthink themselves out of the correct answer. Reasoning models, not surprisingly, showed an advantage at medium complexity, so they actually needed that intermediary thinking step, but then they both collapsed at high complexity problems. And the third and most surprising finding was that large reasoning models hit a scaling limit. So as complexity of the problem became harder, they started thinking more. So they used output tokens to think more and more, and they made that thinking longer. But then at a certain point of complexity, they just stopped. They just stopped thinking. They stopped trying. Outputting thinking tokens costs money, right? Because when you run a large language model, it costs money. So they gave them a budget and they said, you can you know, think as much as you need within this budget. But the large language models stopped thinking, even though they had ample budget left. They were just like, they didn't even try anymore. And I'll also add that even when they gave the large reasoning models the exact solution, the exact algorithm for how to solve these puzzles, they weren't able to. So we saw that reasoning models had issues devising logical steps, and now we're seeing that they have issues following them as well. The fact that reasoning models are not as capable as we thought that they might be shows that we might be further from AGI than we thought. And yeah, I like this idea that models can overthink themselves out of the right solution. Uh, I relate. Hope this helps and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or what else you wanna learn about AI.